I think most number files are fascinated by the idea of Graham's number, which is supposedly unimaginably big. But what actually is it? What does it count? Well, I think the best person to explain that is none other than the world famous mathematician himself, Ron Graham. Suppose you took four vertices of a square. And this is two dimensions, so it has how many vertices? Two squared, four vertices. What I'm going to do is take these four vertices and put two more edges, connecting all possible pairs of these vertices. Well, how many possible edges would you be able to draw? Well, there's something called a binomial coefficient, and there are four vertices, and you choose two of them, and this turns out to be six. So you see there are six edges here. All the ways you could join these four dots. And now, what we're going to do is take the four dots again and look at each one of these possible six lines and color them red or blue in any way that you like. So for example, I might color this one red, or maybe this one red, and then I'd say, well, okay, and maybe I'll color this one blue, and this one blue, and this one blue, and this one blue, okay? So that's one way, and you might say, well, okay, so what? I'm looking for certain special configurations, and I'm not gonna find it here in a square because this is too small. We need, a, we need more dimensions. What about three dimensions? Well, what does a three-dimensional cube look like? Well, I can't really draw it on a piece of paper, but you can kind of draw a version of it, namely if you take your four vertices that form your square, and then you kind of move it a little bit. Well, that's a picture that you might recognize. How many vertices, these corner points here? Well, you can see there are eight, which is two cubed. So the three-dimensional cube has two cubed, eight vertices, 28 possible line segments. And if you color them, say this one's red, and this one's red, and this one's red, and that one's red, but you know, a lot of the others are blue. And what you're trying to do it is do it in a way that avoid something. Now, what is this thing you're trying to avoid? That's the whole point. You're trying to avoid forming the following configuration, namely four points in here someplace, and all the six line segments have the same color, in this case it's red, and furthermore, these four points lie in a flat plane. They don't stick up in three dimensions. Usually you took four points, you would have three dimensions, it kind of spans a three dimensional volume. Here I want four points to be flat and they form a square and all six line components are the same color. In three dimensions, you definitely can avoid such a configuration because this only seems to happen on just kind of the faces. And what you have to do, the challenge, is to go in a much larger dimension. Now what do you mean by a cube in say, four dimensions? Well, four dimensions, you could take this picture and translate it and join the lines, but it gets kind of messy. But yeah, I'm, I'm not afraid. I think I can do that. Let's see. Yeah. Here's our three-dimensional cube. Yep. And now I have to uh, shift it. Okay, well, I've got to be a little careful here. And now I join the corresponding things. Well, you can see it's going to be this we could call it a tesseract. Now how many different ways can you color these 120 different lines with red and blue? Well each one of them there are two choices. So it's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 120 times or 2 to the 120. Already beyond what computers can do. No computer can do a 2 to the 120th things right now. Well the problem we're trying to avoid having this four points that form a square, lie in a plane, and have all six line segments the same color. And in four dimensions, you can do it. Not too hard to do. Well, what about the five-dimensional cube? In five, you can avoid it. Six, it takes more work. Seven, yes, it takes a lot more work. The question is, can you always avoid it? The answer, no. If the dimension is large enough, you cannot avoid it. No matter how you try to color it, you can't avoid it. And when is that dimension finally reached? Well. You know it's reached by the time you get to a very large number, sometimes known as Graham's number, pretty big number, and you know for sure in that dimension you cannot avoid it. And the proof that you can't avoid it is pretty complicated, pretty recursive, and that's what caused this number to be so large. Now you might say, well, what's the truth? Sure, if you go as far as Graham's number, that dimension you can't avoid it, but maybe you can already make it unavoidable in a smaller dimension. And it turns out that 
it appears that already in 13 dimensions, you can't avoid it. Now, how could you check that by computer? Well, okay, no problem, really. In 13 dimensions, so n is 13 dimensions. So how many vertices in your 13-dimensional cube? Well, two to the 13th vertices, which is what? That's about 8192. Okay, a little over 8,000 vertices. Well, how many line segments? Well, 8192 times 8191 over 2. You have to check, no matter how you color them with red or blue, you can't avoid one of these things. Well, it's uncheckable. You can't check that. It's impossible. You need, you need to think. You can't just compute. Right now, we don't know. It's between 13, we know maybe uh, 12 is not enough, it turns out, and this other slightly bigger number, which uh, I, can, I can try to write it. So there we go. As cubes move up through the dimensions from, from three dimensions that I think we all understand to four dimensions to five, eventually we reach a number of dimensions in which one of these configurations must exist. And the upper bound on that, the point where it has to happen by, is this Graham's number. Now we know this number is unimaginably big. It was even in the Guinness Book of Records. But just how big is it? Well that deserves a video all of its own, and again we've got Ron Graham to explain it. The links are on the screen here. I've also put them in the description under the video. So why don't you check it out? It's a pretty big number.